In this video, I'm talking all about nested sequences in Premiere Pro and what they are and what we use them for. So let's get right into it. So nested sequences sound somewhat complicated, but they're actually something really simple that help you control your footage on the timeline. So let me jump into Premiere Pro and let me show you what I mean. So when we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we have a sequence and let's throw some footage on that timeline. So we've got two video clips here. We'll throw a few more clips on. And let's say we're gonna do some video editing effects for all of these. So we want to merge all of these clips together. So let's throw all of the clips on top of each other. And now I'm just going to do some masking on those top two clips. So I'm gonna select video layer three. We'll go up to the pen tool and let's draw a mask on the left side. Now we'll do the same thing with video layer two. We'll just draw a mask on the right side and even though that's ugly, we'll run with it. Now, a nested sequence is really awesome at combining all of these clips together. So let's say I wanted to add a really slow zoom into all of those clips at the same time. Without a nested sequence, I would have to go to the start of video layer three, create a brand new keyframe on scale position, move towards the end, increase the scale, and then I'd have to copy the motion and paste that onto video layer two and one. And that can be a little bit time consuming, especially when you've got loads of different video clips. And sometimes when you've got something a little bit too precise, it sometimes might get knocked out of sync when you're doing it this way. So the cleanest way to do this is to nest them into their own sequence. So let's just remove all of those effects for now. Now, in order to nest a sequence, all we have to do is select all of the clips on the timeline that you want to put into this nested sequence. We'll right click go up to nest, we can rename the sequence, video, we'll press okay. And now that's turned those three clips into one clip, which means whatever we do to this nested sequence applies to all of these clips at the exact same time. Not only does this help to apply motion to the footage, this also helps with effects. So if you wanted to add some glitch effects or some chromatic aberration to all of the clips at the same time, then you would just nest them into their own sequence and that means they're all going to be affected at the same time. So essentially a nested sequence grabs all of your video clips, your images, your audio files. It grabs everything and turns them into one file that sits right on your timeline. This makes the whole editing process easier, faster, and really reduces the amount of hassle involved when you're editing your video. So there you go. I know this one was a quick video, but learning all about nested sequences is one short fire tip that you need to know about. So if you enjoyed watching this video or if you haven't heard about nested sequences, but now you know what they are, then please let me know in that comment section below. And if you're subscribed, then I will see you on the next video. See you there.